Okay, I'm going to show everyone how you can quickly and easily make you a coal load with no issues. I mean, without having to purchase anything expensive off of eBay. What I did was, yes, I said purchase anything expensive off of eBay. If you get creative, you can do some things. I mean, I could even leave these like this and it could be like sand or something. What I did was I just took an old, you know, mattress cushion. You can get these like at Walmart or something. And we gave it to our dog and now my dog is done with it. So, you know, I start cutting it up and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to use them as coal loads. So what I'm doing is I cut them up, put them in, in there. See, and I, you can even shape them a little bit if you want. You know, and they also have like a curvature under there. If you want, you can use that, the existing curving curvature of it. So here's what I'm doing. Show you what I'm doing here. Cut them up. These are gonna be my coal loads. Okay. I've done this with other most of my other loads too. It's pretty cool. What I do is I and this way I was using this as a this is spray or something. But anyway, I'm just cutting it up. Okay. Cool. All right. And then what I do is I just spray them with like, uh, this is a metal, uh, black, dark, uh, coal looking um, metallic Krylon. I spray the top of that, let it dry. Then I'll take something like some literal salt and I'll sprinkle that on it. And I'll give it kind of a, you know, like a kind of a cold look. And then I'll, you know, just spray it again and let that soak in. And then you have your cold loads. All right. So let me uh, get started and show you how it works. You can kind of see the um, kind of a look to it. I know it's cold doesn't shine or anything, but it, it just it'll have a good look once you put a now because it's kind of a sponge, it's gonna soak it up, but so you should kind of coat it a little bit. That one might take another coat because I have red paint on there. And you learn stuff as you do, you do things.
Again, let me show you what this is. This is Krylon. Um, all in one. Um, it is hammered black. And um, that's what you want. So it has a kind of a um, look. It has kind of a sparkly kind of thing. It's not really bad, but it'll give you that kind of just a look, look that you're carrying something in your in your hoppers. Okay. I'm not going to get into the science of what coal looks like. This will look good enough. All right, so we'll let this dry and we'll come back and try it out. Um, let this dry a little bit, but then I'm gonna go back and I might throw some salt on it. It just adds something, gives it a little pop. I mean, you don't really need to do much, but if you look, you see on a surface what it's doing. You know, it's kind of got a, you know, kind of a glittery finish, but it's not really glitter. So, just thought I'd show you all that, and we'll be back in a bit. Okay. So now, you can use anything really, but I use salt because it has some qualities about it. It kind of just, you cover this, it looks like, it looks granular. It has some granular qualities about it that I like. I could use sand, but see the salt will soak up this paint and it'll give it a, it'll, it gives a dusty effect. Now you could probably just use your granules or something like that, but it just does something, you know? That's just my technique to reach your own. All right, so here we go. And let's give her a spray here in just a bit. All right, so now we're gonna spray it. So the salt will soak it up and it won't look so glistening or sparkling. You just wanna do a light. It gives us a sand look, okay? So I don't know if you can see it. So that's the way the salt will give it kind of a dusty, dusty look to it. All right, and then when we put it in there, I mean, everyone has a way. And coal doesn't glisten, coal doesn't do this, coal doesn't do that. Weathering does things to coal, it's uncovered. So, you know what? To the naked eye across the layout, you're not gonna know. You're just gonna say, oh, that's cold, but we're not gonna get there and look like right minute down into there. All right. That's it for now, and I'll okay, show you more. So later. now we're looking at our salted uh, um, ore or coal loads or whatever you wanna call them. It's a load of something, but it's load. So I, the salt was to give it a little texture and I used um, just some black, um, kind of semi-metallic um, spray. And so here's one of my coal cars. And so let me show you what this looks like once you put it in, okay? So here we go. Okay, it's off. It's all dry. And of course you see it's a sponge. It's the spongy cushion. So here's, let's do this. So, and I made them all different shapes because all loads are different. in there a little bit. Watch this. I want to push it down toward the center. Now, look at this. See that? Not bad. Yeah, I know I need to weather the hopper, but check that out. Not bad. Not bad at all. So if you look down in there, you see what the salt does. 
it blends and it gives it texture on top of the sponge so you don't look like oh that's just a painted sponge down in there and whatever it is it's definitely um it'll look good on the layout so let me put my other hopper uh, loads in there and then we'll put it on the layout and we'll check it out <laughs> 